Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Bruce. I'm taking into a uh, close view to get you a view of those three spices, and we'll get back to that here in a minute. I want to show you a couple jobs that I've been working on. So I'm going to set this phone down and roll them into view. Again, I know I've got to get a turntable so I can be all professional and such. That's my leather tonneau cover. I was really proud of that. Uh, made that out of one of my old wallets. Here's a new Porsche. Kind of finished up on it. I might have to do some highlighting on it still with the uh, lights and such. But the paint job turned out really good. Here's a Corvette that I've been working on. Finally got some of the detail work completed on it. Blacked out the grill, then the headlights. Then you can see I got headlight or tail lights as well. Pretty sweet little Corvette. Here's my first dip car. I dipped that in water and paint. You know how that all works. If not, uh, maybe I'll do a, a how-to video on that. I've seen them on there before, but never hurts to get more information. Here's one I just hand painted, kind of just messing around with different colors and such. Turned out to be pretty cool, I think anyway. It looks good sitting on my shelf anyway. Then this one here is one I'm really proud of. Weathered the engine a little bit, blacked it out. That looks sweet. Oh, it mean looking. Then I want to show you this. I told you I'd get back to it. I've seen several videos. I've done it several different ways, weathering cars and such. If you want to get a real deep rust look, I mean weathered bad, like it, this has been in the barn for years. See the covers? I've, all of the vinyl covers, almost, almost off of it. That is weathered. That is a barn find right there, in my opinion. Which is like anything else. Everybody's got them. I watched a video, and I thought I'd, I just had to try it for myself. I'm a certified chef, so it means a little more to me, I guess. I got to still do something with that grill. This is actually going to be a Mad Max, so there's going to be guns coming out of there, so that's why there's no grill in there. But as a certified chef, I was proud to weather this car with cayenne pepper, ground cinnamon, and ground nutmeg. Clear coated over it with matte clear coat. Came out unbelievable, as far as I'm concerned. Again, you guys are probably much better than I am, but just take a look at that detail. That is going to be an apocalyptic hot rod right there. So I thought that was kind of cool. Here's some couple I found yesterday. I love this casting. I don't know that I'll do anything with that. I'll probably just leave it as is. Of course, I will crack it, and it'll go on my wall. This here, that dreadful, in my opinion, dreadful camouflage series from Walmart. That's actually going to be become a, a wood stake bed in the future. I've got one of these I'm working on right now, and I've got this other one for parts. Uh, or this could be a complete redo as well. I love that casting though. It's one of my favorites actually. Then I love this Volkswagen racer. I'm working on some cars uh, to sell at, at one of the local areas here uh, for cancer awareness. So this is actually going to end up being a 
a pink racer and uh, I'll have my own decals and such on it so stay tuned for that then last but not least I don't know exactly what why or when but I picked up a couple of these yesterday and I'm definitely gonna do something with this along the lines of Mad Max as well uh, anyway that's what I'm doing here today I'm in my shop as you can see they're lining up my friends lining up for some great great jobs that's so much fun but boy I gotta get back to work so with that being said peace out